Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Bo Morris with Epic Ag Solutions out here with Ben again in the field. Looking at some soybeans, so the big question is, is how do I stage them? When do I spray them? Do I spray them? Do I need a foliar? How do I get it? What kind of pressure do I need? So there's a million questions on that too. So I think maybe one of the key ingredients is, is when do we spray them? You know, what's our timing? Everybody says R3. Well, how long is R3, right? Is it a month? Is it a week? Is it one day? And I know all that's going to be weather dependent, but I think Ben's got a pretty good story to tell on how to stage these beans when you should be making the right application and the right timing on some of these things. So I'll turn it over to Ben a little bit and let him get after it. So, yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thanks for that, Bo. So yeah, I mean, you know, if, if I think about fungicide on soybeans and I think about here at Bex with PFR, you know, I would say there's been two major yield drivers when it comes to soybean yield production um, at Bex. The first has been early planting date. We've seen that for a long, long time be the biggest driver. But that second biggest driver for yield on soybeans has been an R3 fungicide. And I get the question all the year, every year, like Bo said, well, how do I know when I'm at R3? You know, well, well the textbook terminology is we wanna have a 3 16 pod in one of our upper four most fully developed nodes, okay? And that can be pretty simple, but we can come in and out of R3 all the time. But the thing that I always like to explain and what we've really narrowed down here at Bex with PFR is counting the nodes, okay? And basically we wanna have 13 nodes on that main stem and what I like, furthermore, I like to call yield attributing nodes. So if we look at this soybean plant here, what I always like to do is I always like to turn it upside down, okay? And I'm gonna count the nodes on the main stem that have some type of branch or petiole coming off of them. So I'm gonna start right here because I can see some pods starting to form. So this is gonna be one, two, I got some branches here, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we're gonna have nine, 10, 11, and then 12 is right here at the top, which will be our last fully developed node right here. We have 13, but it isn't quite fully developed. So basically once this 13th node or trifoliate um, is fully developed, then I'm gonna look from 13 down. So I'm gonna go 13, 12, 11, and 10. So basically I'm going to be looking at this portion of the plant and I wanna have a 3 16 pod anywhere in that top four. And then that's how we're gonna decide when we need to pull the trigger. The reason that we're looking for those 13 nodes is because we equate 70% of our soybean yield is coming from nodes six through 13. So basically as soon as those are present, we wanna go out there and protect that with our fungicide so we can protect where a majority of the work is being done on that soybean plant. We wanna protect it and get the most out of it that we can and also help retain those pods. We think about some other things that can maybe enhance or make this fungicide application better. First and foremost, we wanna make sure that we can get this fungicide into the plant. We think about full tech, which Epic Ag Solutions um, provides for us. We've tested that in PFR and seen very, very good results out of it. Other things are micro packs, maybe like Foliar XL, but then also things like boron. So we've seen very good responses out of boron foliar, especially at the R3 time frame. At our Southern Illinois PFR location right down the road in Effingham, across two or three years, we've seen roughly a $30 return on investment by applying one pint of a 10% boron product out there. That's going to help retain these um, flowers and pods out there because a soybean plant will actually lose close to two thirds of its pods and flowers off a of soybean plant. So we want to try to retain as many of those as we can out here. So by all means, if you guys have any questions, but just a couple things to remember is we want to count those nodes on the main stem, yield attributing nodes out there. Make sure we have 13 um, nodes present. Then we want to look at the top four fully developed. Make sure we have a 3 16 of a pod Make sure we have that and then think about those other things that can make that fungicide better like full tech and those micronutrients out there. With that, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to myself or by all means, Tom and Larry and Bo, they, they will definitely be able to help you. With that, have a great day.